This room in particular really reminds me of this place that I found in Boston. Sorry, I'm just looking around this room while I was getting set up and honestly, like, I, f I went wandering around Boston a little bit when I was there for PAX East and I found this library that looked like this. It was a, it was a room style very similarly to this and it felt like something straight out of a movie. I, I was very, very impressed by it and I was just like, whoa, this place is amazing. Like, I'm not, I'm not all too into books all like that much, but there was just something about being surrounded by walls of books and high ceilings and stuff like that that just really made me stop for a minute. And I was like, holy moly, this is actually really cool. <laughs> Anyway, hey guys, Masane Ellie here, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Symphonia. In the last episode, we got pardoned by the king and found out where to get ingredients to cure Colette. The first of which is going to be Altamira. Yeah, you thought we were done with that place, right? Nope, not quite yet. Uh, even you, Zealous, should not bring ordinary citizens into the castle. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> ordinary citizens? Pardon me, but I am not an ordinary citizen. Alright, well, we're all done with them. Thankfully, they're not enemies right now. Uh, hello, princess. My father says that he does not want to meet with anyone. But we have to go to Heimdall. The king is the only one that can issue the pass to Heimdall, right? Could you please ask him for us, princess? Zalos, if you insist, I will ask my father. Please wait a moment. And there she goes. Gotta wait for the little princess. Even if we receive the pass, Heimdall is not a friendly village to anyone except elves. I can't say if they'll give us a mana leaper. We'll get them to give it to us somehow. This is a letter from my father to Heimdall. You should be able to enter the village with this. Alright! Thank you! Princess, you have my thanks. Where's Heimdall, anyway? The Tower of Salvation is located at the center of the world, right? It's south of there. I, he I've, I heard it's surrounded by the Ymir Forest. Okay, let's go, guys! So we have the king's permission to enter Heimdall now. I almost said the Ymir Forest. Well, I guess technically that too. But still, we, we, have, we have a way to get in. A letter from the king of Tethniala allows entrance to Heimdall. So that'll be great. Uh, we do have some equipment that we can start equipping to everyone. But I think we'll worry about that a little bit later because we're not going to be doing any fighting right now. I'm curious about this rune wand though. Uh, let's switch it so that we get the strongest stuff up up top. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, uh, we do have other things to equip, but like I said, I'm not gonna worry about it right now, because we're not gonna be doing any fighting quite yet. Uh, we will soon, but it's not, it's not a huge deal at the moment. Uh, what we want to do, we want to come down here, and hallelujah, this door is finally open. We can go, we can come and go as we please. And it's all thanks to Zelos' hormones? Bye-bye. Mm, Ciao. Who was that gaudy girl just now? Beats me. You know how I give off all those male hormones. So all sorts of girls come drifting over. I think they're called pheromones. Hormones, right. Alright, sure. You, you be like that, Zelos. You be like that. Alrighty, so like I said, our next stop is Altamira, which is right over here. So uh, honestly, you can do either of these in any order. If you wanted, you could go to Heimdall right now, which is right here, speaking of which. So it's technically right next door if you want to get... If you want to get picky about it, but I think that this is a better order to do things in. But that's just me. So we can head in here and go to, I'm trying to think. Right, let's come over here because there's someone in front of this grave. You, you're Prisea. Uh, hello. Uh, my controller desynced. 
That was not a good time to desync, desync controller. Please cooperate. Mr. Wells? You people brought Prisea here? What? Didn't you want us to take her away from Ozette? So, uh... It wasn't my controller desyncing, it was my battery dying. So, now we're ready. But this is... This is what? No, it's nothing. By the way, you can understand what I'm saying? Yes. Lloyd and the others saved me. So you've realized the passage of time. Yes, I've lost my adult body and my childhood. I'm sorry I chased you out of the village. No, it's alright. What you said was true. Persea no longer has any relatives. Every single one of them is gone. Can we please stop kicking this poor girl around? Please support her. Yeah, of course. Persea is our friend. I see. Later. That's great, Persea. He understands you a little now. Yes. Wells. He used to be so small. Hmm? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. So, Persea now has the title of Mature Kid. So, we're getting titles all around for everyone. Let's go ahead and check this. Mature Kid. Not what I meant to do. Her mature expressions represent her hidden, cruel past. Ooh, uh, what was the one that she had before? Axeman. Uh, honestly, this is arguably better than Axeman. Yeah, I think we might stick with this. Uh, Hunter is pretty nice, though. But HP and TP are not bad. And accuracy, too. Yeah, I think we'll keep it. Why the heck not? Okay, so, uh, what we want to do, we want to cross this bridge, and hello, hello! Good job, Sheena. You, you dropped a thing. Um, you dropped something. Ah, thanks. Of course! Oh? What is it? Uh, no, it's... I don't mean to be rude, but that ring... Where did you... Cybat, a student at the Imperial Research Academy, was selling it at the bazaar. Joshua. Do you know that student? No. Uh, of course you do! What do you mean, no? You just said his name! I apologize for asking something like this, but could you give this money to the student who stole... Uh, who stole you that ring? No, who sold you that ring. Why, why all of a sudden? I did something cruel and unforgivable to him. It is an apology for that. It's starting to get a little too complicated. But she looks so sad. I want to help her. No, we are going to help her, even though I don't really want to get involved. But, I mean, we gotta see this through to, to the end, right? Alright. Thank you so much! My name is Rosa. After you give the money to Joshua, please come see me again. I'll be at my house in Maltokyo. Gotcha. When we're done, we'll head for Maltokyo. Okay, let's go. So we were entrusted with 5,000 gold. Peanuts! Yeah, she actually gave us the gold, so if you wanted to, you could just forget about it and spend it elsewhere. But we're good people, so I think we're going to go ahead and head to Cybac first and foremost. The, the Zircon can wait a little bit, right? Right, we don't need to get it right away. I feel like this sort of thing happens a lot where we just kind of get sidetracked with something that just pops up out of nowhere. But yeah, if you remember a while back in Cybac, we got the ring off of that dude that was by the bazaar. It was the start of this side quest, but we couldn't continue it at the time. But now that we've progressed a little bit more in the story, we can. Joshua, the due date is getting close. I've almost got enough to pay for the tuition. Please, please wait just a little longer. You are an excellent student, so I don't want to kick you out either. But those are the rules of the academy. I know. I'll see if you can get another scholarship, but try your best. I will. Hi, welcome back. Uh, um, let me guess. You heard that conversation. I'm sorry, we eavesdropped. 
No, it's all right. It's embarrassing, but I can't pay the tuition at the academy. That's why I'm at the bazaar, but it's not going so well. Ah, so that's why that woman said to give you this money. What are you talking about? Um, in Altamira, we received money for you from a woman. This is a huge sum! Who would possibly... <laughs> huge sum, huh? <laughs> Wait a minute, did you say Altamira? Is it Rosa? She talked to us after seeing the ring she received from you. It is Rosa! I'm sorry, but I can't accept this. Please give it back. <laughs> and we're entrusted with 5,000 gold again! What? Sounds like something's up. I don't think you would be good to pry. But if we don't know what's going on, we'll have to keep going back and forth. Rosa was my girlfriend. We were going to get married once I became a full scholar. But she betrayed me. What do you mean? All of a sudden, she said she was going to marry a noble, so she wanted to end our relationship. She told me she was tired of a life with a poor student. Whoa! Uh, I I'd imagine there's probably a second side to this, maybe. I'd be lying if I said I didn't resent it, but I can't, I can't accept charity. Okay, I understand. We'll go give it back. Thank you. There has to be another side to this. There, there has to be. Uh, I mean, I mean, that sort of thing does happen, and it, it's really crappy, but I mean... I mean, this is Symphonia! No one's crappy in this game, right? Ha. 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 Alright, well, we're going back to... I'm going in the wrong direction because we have to go to Maltokyo. And here we are! The place that we need to go is in the Nobles District. Yeah, you kind of saw that coming from a mile away, right? So we have to go up here near the castle, but to the east. Now if we roam around here a little bit, she should pop up. Yep, here we go! Did you give the money to Joshua? He said he couldn't take this. No, why? Joshua's a man. He can't accept this kind of charity. Lloyd, stop! But... I see. You heard what happened from Joshua. I am a cruel woman. I took his tuition and then betrayed his love. This is the money he gave me. Money he took out of his school expenses. So returning it to him is the right thing to do. Why do you need so much money? It's... Rosa, Master is calling for you. Ah, thank you. I'll be right there. Please excuse me. I must hurry. I'm sorry for making such a request. Hey, she's gone. Now then, where do you work? Ch chosen Ah, uh, yes, um, I serve Master Cromwell. Hmm, is Zella famous? No, Lloyd. You don't say! <laughs> is this only kicking in now? But Rosa didn't know him. Mistress Rosa is from Flanor, so... Of course I'm famous, but it's not like my face is known to everyone outside of Maltokyo. Hmm. Cromwell. Do you know him? I don't hear a lot of good things about him. I heard that he recently took in a girl as a servant for a partial payment of a debt. Ooh, uh-oh. That is Mistress Rosa. She was forced into an engagement with Master Cromwell, Cromwell in order to pay back her parents' debt. Oh, I must get back. Please excuse me. I feel sorry for her. I was rude to her when I didn't know what was really going on. Should we tell Joshua? Rosa probably would not like for him to know. That's why she left without telling him. I can't accept this. I think we should tell Joshua. What should we do? So we could leave things as they are, but we're nosy, right? Being nosy is part of the job description of, like, savior of the world or some crap like that. It's how we get things done. So we're going to head out of Mel Tokyo and go back to Cyback, <laughs> back to Cyback, to talk to Joshua. And here we are, back in Cyback. Hey, <laughs> I did that twice in a row. That's not funny. 
Uh, we're gonna come over here and tell him what's up. Hello again, did you return it to Rosa? <sighs> so there's two things that we can do. Obviously this is gonna make Rain happy and obviously this is gonna make Sheena happy. But I wanna see what happens. Let's watch the world burn. Joshua, that's so there's something I wanna tell you. Rosa's hiding something from you. Blah, 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 blah. Is this true? In order to pay back the debt, she... Then that was a lie. What happened? Rosa's mother was sick and they were in debt in order to treat her. I took money out of my academy school expenses in order to help her. So that's why you couldn't pay your expenses. The money Rosa tried to give you may be your school expenses that you gave her. Rosa... I would have quit the academy for you. She didn't want you to quit. She probably couldn't stand the thought of you giving up your dreams for her. Where is Rosa now? She's at the house of a noble named Cromwell in Mel Tokyo. Thank you. Is Joshua going to be alright? Maybe we should help him. We shouldn't get any more involved. Saving the one he loves is something he needs to do himself. Well, he went off to go and find her, and unfortunately, we cannot see how this ends up for now. Uh, so we're going to have to go ahead and mind our own business for real and head back to Altamira to take care of our own things. It's kind of an interesting side quest. I, I, I'm not sure how much I like... <laughs> how much later it was that you had to wait to do this but I mean I guess I guess they had to spread it out a little bit but we do have to wait a little bit more to see how it all pans out I guess I guess we do have to wait for time to pass or something along those lines I don't know but beyond that we have to go to the president's office which is over at the Lazareno company Alright, so we need to go ahead and take this elevator up to the president's office. Because the person that we're looking for right now is George. George, George, George of the jungle. Is everything running smoothly? Yes, the business is. However, the sealed exterior mine was raided by someone. We believe it was the work of Varley. Ha, ha, ha. Well, good news. Uh, but fortunately, it appears that access to the core area was prevented. So it would seem. But it is safe to assume that there will be no more trouble of, <laughs> trouble of that nature. Yeah, gee, I wonder why. Uh, Varley is dead. Oh, he just came right on and said it. Are you certain of this? Yeah, I, I crushed his windpipe myself, man. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, in other words, Alicia was avenged through the actions of Regal and Persea. I see. This is good news. Are, he, are you here just to report this information? No, I have other business. I want to take a look at the records concerning past mining operations. Please unlock the door to the archives. Documents related to past mining operations should be in the left room on the second floor archive. I see. Thank you. Alright, well, that was productive. So, second floor we go! The last Zircon shipment was... What the? Of course! Because why the heck not? Well, well, what have we ha- what, what have we here? Kuchinawa! The Pope is gone. Varley is dead. Why do you still get in our way? This is about me, isn't it? Of course. Because of you, my parents and countless members of our village died. The chief has not awoken from his coma for ten years. I'm sorry. You think apologizing will cut it? I will never forgive you! <laughs> I love that little, like, that little foot stomp that he does. Kuchinawa, if I'm the one you hate... Sheena, if you're going to suggest sacrificing yourself again, I'll never forgive you. No one's being forgiven anywhere here. No, if I'm the one you hate, let's have a one-on-one -on -one duel, as dictated by village custom. Do you really think you can defeat me alone? Well... Do you accept my challenge? Very well. Do you want to do it here and now? We'll follow the village custom and fight on the Isle of Decision. Is that alright with you, Lloyd? I 
guess it wouldn't be much use to try and stop you. Thanks. I'll be waiting for you on the Isle of Decision. Wait. Give us back that document. This is the proof of your promise to fight. Colette may die if we don't have that. If you need proof of the duel, I'll give you this. And that is... Corinne's memento. Oh, As you wish. Very well. If you do not come, I will grind this bell to dust. Sheena, I know how important that was to you. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Whoa, what the frick? Okay, that... Nice job, Steam. Good job. I just need to win against him. I won't run away anymore. We can go to the Isle of Decision from Mizuho. Can we go later? But first, let's get the Zircon. Colette is much more important. Yeah. Alright. Where's the Zircon? It says the last shipment was sent to the Imperial Research Academy in Cybac. Okay. Let's get going. Won't run away anymore. Damn it. What should I do? Oh, that's interesting. What you got cooking up there, Zelos? Uh, Alright, so we're going to the Altamira entrance. And... It's back to Cybac. I probably should have just done this cutscene and then done the pink pearl ring while I was on my way there. Oh well. It's not like it's that far away anyway. It's just, it's just a stone throw away. And by a stone throw, I mean on a completely separate continent. But who's counting? We have Riards. That makes everything convenient. So it's just right over here. And we can go into Cybat. And right, that's, that's a good point, actually. Since we are no longer wanted by the king here, we can just enter willy-nilly. This is going to be awesome. Oh, guys. Oh, guys, guess what? Guess what that means? Even beyond the Zircon, we get to go to the cafeteria and talk to this guy. What? I heard that a 10-foot-tall angel has descended from heaven and devoured those who oppose the Chosen. 10 feet tall? <laughs> devoured. Hmm. Wow. I didn't know there were scary angels like that. Colette, you're stupid! Oh my god! Th that girl with the Crucius Crystal doesn't devour humans whole too, does she? Don't be stupid. Uh, I trust the Chosen. Really? Good, good. Is there any of that Zircon left here that was purchased in the Lazareno Company? Zircon? Yes, there is. Could you give us some? Of course! It's in the next room past this door. There are books scattered all over, but you'll still be able to find it right away. I'll leave it unlocked. Alright, so right into this door, and right into this door, we should find the Zircon that we need. Ha 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 And so the treasure chest is gone now. Uh, what is the actual description? A precious ore, very difficult to handle. Alright, well, not, not bad. Zircon sounds like it would be one of those equipable items, and that would have been pretty cool if that were the case. Um, alright, so... Like I said, we can access the cafeteria now! So if you have anything that you want to make, you can make it! Oh my goodness, look at all of this stuff that we can buy! At long last! I need to start cooking more stuff. You know, I think I will start cooking more stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy just a crap ton of stuff, so give me just a moment. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you guys. Uh, this is probably a really stupid idea because we do still get, like, food drops from enemies and stuff. But I'm just gonna max everything out. We have a butt-ton of money that I'm not using for much else. I mean, there is the Luin, the whole Luin thing, but I'm not totally focusing on that right now. So I think I'm just gonna start really focusing on cooking things with everyone. And honestly, like, miso is a really, like, miso soup, or stew, excuse me. Miso stew is a really good, <laughs> a really, really good, um, 
uh, recipe. So I'm just gonna buy everything that I can and just... I, I think I think I might just use the blue Sephiro to get more money from battles from here on. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and buy more things here. I also have um, Regal's Regal's personal skill on. So let me let me buy more things. I didn't buy everything here because I think I need to show some restraint. And most of these fruits are only used in in fruit cocktail. So, uh, there's some exceptions, like the lemon is used in a few things, but I maxed out lemons. Um, uh, I can get some for the sandwich. Gra grapes and sandwiches? Okay. Uh, so, uh, one banana for the road. Two bananas for the road. Okay, uh, so we're done. I need to sh show some restraint in my cooking abilities, and I think I'm gonna start, like, maxing out other people's, um recipes so I think I'm gonna just miso stew I'm gonna use when I actually get into a dangerous area uh, uh, temporarily increases attack look you can make this cook me stew attack up for next battle so we're good we're good we got we got a lot of a lot of ingredients so I can come here anytime I want if I want to make more so that'll be nice. Uh, with that though, I think we're pretty much done with Cybat for now. So I think we're gonna go ahead and cut things off here now that we have a good direction in where to go. And honestly, like, we could theoretically take care of Sheena's business right now, but I think we're gonna hold off on that. Um, not only is Colette really pressing in a story perspective, but also... I think we can use a couple more levels to be honest, it's a little bit hard. So we're going to worry about that later and next time we're heading off to Heimdall. I will see you guys then. Messina out.